All right, welcome back, folks. Legendary businessman Bernie Marcus writes for Real Clear Politics, and I quote, high stakes and a simple choice. I endorse Donald J. Trump as the nominee of the Republican Party and as our next president. And the great Bernie Marcus joins us again, co-founder of Home Depot and the Job Creators <laughs> Network. Bernie, it is wonderful to see you. Uh, I read your op-ed. I thought it was a hell of a thing. Um, you didn't start there, but you come around to Trump. Just give us a sense why you've said what you've said. Well, Larry, if I listened to you for the last year, you understand why. Yes, sir. Uh, I've been around. Now, first of all, let me tell you, I'm not with Home Depot anymore. I've been out of there since 2002. I retired in 2002. It's a great company. Always will be. But... I've been around a long time. I'm 94 years old, and I've seen presidents come and go, Republicans, Democrats, and frankly, I've never lived through a period like this. Mm. This is the most incredible period I've ever seen before in my life. Mm. And I've always said that the American people will be smart enough to pull us out of anything that there'd always be the buffer between good and bad. Mm. And first of all, let me explain to you that I'm a Republican, but I'm an American first. I'm the original great story in America. Grew up in Newark, New Jersey, in a tenement, poor as hell, and had no money. My family had no money. And look where I am today. It could only have happened in America, and frankly, it could only happen under the system that we have, which is the, the system of free enterprise and capitalism. And I've watched this guy in the White House. I mean, I can't believe what he does every day. I get up in the morning and I say, what the hell did he do today? Mm. That's going to destroy America. Mm. And he never fails to surprise me. Mm. He always comes up with something. Mm. And it's never good. I don't know who the hell his advisors are. Mm. I don't have a clue. But he's supposed to represent all the people in America. And he doesn't. Uh, the poor people and the people that come continuously vote that way which is incredible to me how that happens. But I see them in this last election prove that maybe the American people aren't that smart, that maybe they're not going to bail us out. And the only one out there that I know has the experience to fix things. That's what he does. He fixes things. Now, you may not like what he says. He pisses off a lot of people. Every time he opens his mouth between the, the Air Force One and and a helicopter, <laughs> he says something that irritates somebody. But the truth of the matter is that if we don't change the government in this next 24 election, yes. this country yes. is dead. I've never said that before. And look, uh... I don't see any way out. You know, just uh, say what you will about Mr. Trump. Uh, he brought us peace and prosperity. And right now, I, in your article, you make this very clear. We need a strong, strong hand in the White House. Now more than ever, we need a strong you know, need... hand in the White House. Well, it's not only the economy. Yes. I mean, look what's happening. This president has got two wars on his hand, mm -hmm. Ukraine and Israel, and God knows where that's going to happen, where it's going to go. We have China sitting out there as a, as a terrible threat, mm. along with Russia, and he's just doesn't know which way to go. Um, I don't know who's feeding him mm. or who's pulling the strings. Maybe you do. But he doesn't come up with the right answers no matter what he does. Yes. And the American people are going to suffer because of it. Yes. I mean, right now, people can't pay their bills. Yes. Uh, yes. 
know, you know Job own. Creators Network, uh, Job Creators Network that I helped co-found about eight years ago had a lot to do with that corporate tax cut. Yeah. Uh, Ryan yeah. wasn't going to consider it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they kind of forced it through. Well, and that that kind of saved America. Yes. Yeah, but it, Trump was totally behind it. Yeah. Well, but Bernie, look at, look at what happened. We got a. I got a. Time is yeah. always short on these shows, but I just want to say, Bernie Mark, because I've known you so long, you are, first of all, fabulously successful American dream story. You are also, even today, sir, you are a important business and philanthropic influencer. That's why I wanted people to hear what you had to say and this great op-ed piece to get it out. And we appreciate your coming on the show. I'm very grateful, Bernie Marcus, that you came on The Cudlow Show. We're very grateful. And I wish you well. Be Thank safe. You. Thank you, sir.